Okay, Geminis, so which one of y'all is dealing with a narcissist here? With the Six of Wands in the reverse? Pride and ego, somebody wanting to win at all costs. Maybe it's your pride and ego that's keeping you stuck or stagnant with the Six of Wands being in the reverse. This is Leo energy for me. Mm, mm, mm. But it's this wanting to win at all costs that's maybe holding this person back, holding you back from this person. Maybe, maybe you having to back away from them. Geminis, go ahead and tap that like button. Subscribe. I upload almost daily on this channel. Don't forget to check out your sun, moon, and rising videos for a deeper look into your situation and or this person that you are dealing with. Um, and you can also find me on Instagram or via my personal email, which is preferred for personal readings. That information is in the description box. And air signs, Gemini specifically, the twins. Let's get into this. Oh, you have the Four of Swords, which is your energy, could also be an Aquarius or a Libra as well. But this card speaks to sitting on something, sleeping on it, taking a rest or a break until you're ready to make a final decision and speak about it. Because what comes after the Four of Swords is the Five of Swords, which speaks to, you know, having a conversation, a verbal falling out, maybe even a defeat, and you having to walk away. Maybe you having to wave the right flag, wave the white flag on this relationship. Whether this is family, co-workers, friends, lover, remember these messages are general, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Another sword here, Gemini's in the building with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Now, this has to do with a betrayal, somebody's pride and ego wanting to win it. Now, this could be somebody talking about you. This could be somebody stealing your idea. This could be hmm, a family or a lover speaking behind your back, speaking to somebody behind your back. The Ace of Swords in the reverse speaks to lies, um, omissions, um, betrayals, of course, but just you not being able to trust this person. Air energy swords has to do with information and communication, you know, like thoughts and ideas. Mm. So what I see is you've been sitting here trying to, Figure out what it is that you're going to do. Taking a, breast, a break, excuse me, maybe trying to separate yourself from this person because of this betrayal, because of you knowing that you can't trust this person, maybe because of their pride and ego. And it's become a very, a very heavy burden for you with this Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, Tens, which we know, speak to closing out some cycles, ending some things, getting ready to start a new journey here. But this Ten specifically, this fire energy, which we have air and fire on the board, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We are in Aries season still. We got the moon in Aries at the moment, Mercury in Aries something. Could do this for hours. Need you to give me a break for some hours. So, this Ten of Wands, back to this. This is whatever this is, is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Maybe you're tired of dealing with this person's ego issues. Maybe you're tired of dealing with this person who thinks that they're never wrong, Gemini, in the things that they do. And it's time for you to make a change with this Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands speaks to change, swift communication. Maybe you found about this betrayal or these lies through text messages, email, Snapchat, WhatsApp. DMs, whatever. But this is you taking some type of forward move and either getting yourself out of this, finding out about this through text messages, but just you wanting to move on and move forward, not wanting to be stagnant and stuck in the situation. Now, Geminis and cross watchers, go ahead and tap in and let me know who this person's sign is. The Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn person. But this, especially with it being in the reverse, speaks to somebody holding something close to their chest, right? Making it seem like they want something solid and stable here, but maybe they're not telling you the whole truth. And it could have to do with this betrayal. It could have to do with these lies. The fact that this person isn't telling the whole damn story here. And again, with this being in the reverse, a lot of you are done with it. Trying to separate yourself, maybe trying to figure out the words to say to let this person know that this was it with this Ten of Wands in the reverse. Maybe there was already a moment where you felt like that was it for you and you gave this person a second opportunity and they just can't seem to change their ways. And if you're dealing with a damn narcissist, they're not going to change. And for some of you, you know that and that's why you're taking this break and really thinking on it. And notice in this Four of Swords, this um, like church window, 
maybe even praying on this issue and like, how can I fix this? How can I just move forward without giving this person too much, too much ammunition, investing any more time in this situation? We see the seven of wands and the knight of pentacles in the reverse when I cut this in half to shuffle, right? The seven of wands, which speaks to you protecting your energy, you protecting your peace, maybe even protecting your family, but taking some action to protect yourself. But this also speaks to somebody being defensive, maybe when you confront them about these issues, right? The Knight of Pentacles, which speaks to, you know, the most solid and stable knight in the deck. Um, this is Virgo energy. This in the reverse speaks to breadcrumbing. You know, constantly moving the goalposts, doing the bare minimum just to get by here. And that's what you're having to protect yourself from. The fact that this person talks about changing, but they're not changing their behaviors. Or if they are, you can't tell because it's happening so slow. They keep doing the same things over and over and over again. Ten of Wands. And we see the Ten of Pentacles here. Sitting on whether or not you should still commit to this. Maybe you're married to this person or have children with them, live with this individual here. The Ten of Pentacles speaks to commitment. Again, ending cycles. We have that ending cycles in fire and earth. We have this air and earth energy as above, so below, trying to bring balance back maybe to this family situation. Maybe think it, hoping that it could work out, praying that it could work out with you and this person. Maybe it is an, indeed a family member or a friendship. But this speaks to, you know, generational wealth, happiness, the happy family card. And while that's what you would like, maybe you're trying to find your perfect idea of family or friendship or love or whatever. And it's just not working out again because of the breadcrumb. We see the Knight of Pentacles here um, showing up again. This person refusing to change. This person refusing to show you with their words and their actions that they mean business or that they're really wanting to do something. And it could be due to third parties with this Three of Cups which could be other lovers, other messy family members and friends, co-workers. So while you would want to reunite with this person and come together and celebrate, this person is just refusing to take any steps forward. Now let's get into this betrayal from this person that refuses to change. This person has these ego issues, wanting to win at all costs. This is somebody who doesn't apologize, doesn't see their wrongdoing and the things that they do, even when they are clearly doing wrong by others. And we see the, okay, illusion and deception. Making you feel like you had many options, but really you didn't. Maybe this person was a confidant of yours. Maybe you thought, again, thinking you could trust them, but you know that you can't because there's a lot of illusion and deception being at play instead of focusing on this commitment. We see the fool here, which is your energy, but this just speaking to this person being a damn fool, or maybe you feel like a fool trying to wait on this person to come towards you with this Knight of Pentacles and show you a change. The fool also symbolizes starting a new journey. We have these endings here in passion. Maybe you still, maybe you don't even feel the same way about this person anymore. Maybe they've totally changed from the person that you first, that you first met. Let me put this on vibrate. Um, they refuse to change. Maybe trying to take advantage of you with this fool card in the reverse. But this was you trying to take this leap of faith into turning all upside down on you. And now you're stressed because things aren't coming together the way that you want or they didn't work out the way that you thought about it. And we see the four of swords and the nine of swords sleeping on it, trying to give this person opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. Now you're stressed out, sick, getting migraines, sick to your stomach, not being able to sleep at night about this betrayal, whatever it was that they were doing. You can let me know down in the comment section. But this ending is really coming because with this King of Cups, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, this is somebody who is emotionally imbalanced speaking to that narcissism. Again, this could be somebody who is emotionally very immature, emotionally aloof, not giving a damn about what other people's emotions are about certain situations or the situations that they put them in. Right, This is somebody who is extremely selfish. And the King of Cups to me is also a floater. They're here for one minute, and then when the waters get rocky, they move on to somewhere else, especially when I see it in the reverse. And then we see that emotional immaturity here with the Page of Cups, right? Pages being young children, also sending messages. So while they're telling you that they love you or that they have these deep feelings for you, their actions say it's something totally different. And you may be telling me, Gemini, that you're carrying this relationship that it's been hard, you've been doing everything that you could possibly do to keep it going here. But this 
Five of Cups. There's a lot of regret here. Regret that it didn't work out. Regret that you've wasted so much time trying to make it work with this person who doesn't feel guilty with this Five of Cups in the reverse. They feel bad because this isn't going to end for, well for them, right? You're walking away or you're cutting them off or taking a break from them. But for what they did, mm -mm, they don't have any emotions about that. And we see the lovers here, Gemini, you showing up with the major arcana. But this speaks to choices. You making the choice to separate yourself. You making the choice to move on and let this go. And it could be that this person's negative choices that have been affecting you. Now we have two sixes on the board. Your energy here with the six, the lovers, air, and fire. Their negative choices impacting you are forcing you to make this move, to make this change, to cut this person off. Maybe you didn't realize what the hell was going on here. It could be third-party situations as well, right? A karmic situation, a, a situation that's supposed to teach you something about love and relationships. And then we see the star here, Aquarius energy, which speaks to wish fulfillment, being in alignment. But this is in the reverse. This is a lack of wish fulfillment. So while you thought that this person might be the one... I feel like they did a total 180 on you and completely changed up what they were doing. We see another five here with the Hierophant, big Taurus energy. Now, you could have been dealing with the Taurus person, but this speaks to somebody who comes off as very highly spiritual or high vibrational, very religious, commitments, marriage, right? But this can also be a card of somebody asking for somebody's forgiveness. And while you're wanting that, you're not going to get that from this person. It's just not going to happen, especially with the star card in the reverse. You hoping that they could, would apologize and change this behavior, but they're not. This Taurus energy being very stubborn, stuck in their ways, set in their ways. The Four of Pentacles being clarified by the Chariot. Cancer on the board. Who we got on the board right now? Taurus, Aquarius, Cancer. Gemini, we have you showing up. Um, but this is keeping you stuck emotionally, right? Because you'd like for this person or these people to change. You'd like for them to do something different. You'd like to be able to move forward with them. But because they keep doing the same old things, not making any changes, lying, omitting things, betraying you, keeping things close to their chest, not being open with you, there's nowhere for you to move. It almost feels like this relationship is moving backwards. We see the chariot in the reverse. We see the six of wands in the reverse. We see the knight of pentacles. All these cards of movement and making things happen are in the reverse. They're not going anywhere. It's stagnant. We see the king of wands here, which speaks to somebody who is, makes action. Their actions do match their words. They're a doer. They show you things. Wands symbolizing action and passion. So while you wanted this person to be all the things that you wanted them to be, whatever that was, or to take some action, they're, they're not doing that. They're refusing to do that. And for a lot of you, this is a final ending, the judgment card here in the reverse. This is you finally recognizing that this person is who they are. They're not changing. They're unmoving. We see your energy here with the Ten of Swords, which is an ending due to many betrayals. Again, maybe you keep trying to keep the door open so that if they do change, you, there can still be some type of communication here while you're sitting on this. But for a lot of you, it's just to know. And now we have three tens, the ten of air, the ten of earth, the ten of wands. We see Pisces energy here with the moon. But this has to do with secrets. Maybe if they're willing to tell the truth, we see these swords in the upward position with this being in the reverse, right? Then maybe you will let this go, the truth about these secrets, these hidden things, what was going on in the dark. But we have the seven of swords here. A liar, a cheater, a thief, somebody who is very cunning, underhanded, strategic in the things that they say and they do so that everything benefits them. This is somebody who definitely thinks about what it is that they're doing, whether they're being very manipulative, whether they're being very deceptive here. This is somebody who cannot be trusted. And while you're trying to get this person to tell you the truth, Try to get this person to tell you the truth about what's been going on here, but that maybe they ghosted you as well when I see the Seven of Swords. They refuse to change or refuse to commit here, or their commitments are immature. Again, breadcrumbing here with the Page of Pentacles. Anytime I see the Page or the Knight of Pentacles, it's like breadcrumbing, not making any forward movement, or just immaturely telling you, making promises that they know that they can't keep here with the Page of Pentacles. Lord, and we see the Devil. Maybe you were dealing with a Capricorn. Now we got Pisces, Capricorn. Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer on the board. 
This speaks to somebody being very toxic. Maybe you even being obsessively trying to fix this person, but you can't. Maybe this person being obsessed with drugs, sex, money. Maybe they have a gambling issue, vices. Maybe they have addiction issues, but you feeling stuck and trapped in this situation and wanting to release yourself. But maybe you're thinking that's selfish of you to walk away from this person. But this person, especially with this devil card and this nine of cups in the reverse, is extremely selfish themselves. Again, this pride and ego, wanting to win at all costs, it's all about them all the time. They don't care about what you have to think or what you have to say here. The nine of pentacles. Now we got two nines and three tens. We know we're getting towards the end of a cycle. Three nines is releasing things as you move on to the next cycle here. And this is you being single, separating yourself. Separating yourself, finding that stability within yourself and moving forward. Investing in you. Taking care of you first. Because this person is imbalanced. We see another six here. Now we got three sixes. Somebody Google 666 and put it in the comment section and you will be the real VIP for the day. But this speaks to an imbalance, unequal give and take here, investing in you, investing in other people, but really them being more focused about investing in themselves. This may be them giving one pentacle to you, two pentacles to somebody else, and keeping three for themselves. Because remember, it's all about this person all the time. The seven of want, this person wanting you to put your defensive de defenses down, right? They're defensive because acting like they're acting like they're being defensive because you're defensive. But really, this is you releasing yourself from a situation where you didn't know what the truth was from this person. You couldn't trust them. You couldn't trust anything that they said. And while they were trying to keep you stuck, maybe making you think that there was nobody better than them, that if you walk away from this family, you won't have anybody else. But this is you just deciding to do something different and releasing yourself from this toxic situation. We have Taurus Libra energy here with the Empress. And this is you standing in your power, whether you are male or female, being abundant, being stable, being emotionally balanced and mature here, being creative, the divine feminine um, symbolizing a mother or a wife. Maybe it's maybe you have, maybe it is your spouse that is a liar. Maybe it's an in-law that is a liar or spiteful or wanting to get in, um, in the way here that you've had to walk away or release yourself from, having to protect yourself from. And the six of swords, another six. This is somebody wanting to move on to calmer waters. And while you've already tried going backwards and moving on to calmer waters with this person, you know that it is just time to let this go. And know that this is just a warning that when you cut this person off, they're still going to be trying to come back. Some of these people are going to be very deceptive, trying to give you half-truths, maybe telling other people half-truths as to why this relationship didn't work out or why you're not in communication with them anymore. But the Queen of Wands here and the Nine of Wands speaks to you being divinely protected. Right, We see the black cat here. The queen of wands, again, speaking to that beauty, being very attractive, attracting attracting, excuse me, positive energy to yourself and taking some action to protect yourself as you release this. Now we got those three nines, the nine of um, air, the nine of water, the nine of earth, and now the nine of wands. We got all nines on the board. Releasing yourself, protecting yourself from this individual. Could be a mistress as well that's doing the damn most, not staying in their lane right? This could also be you protecting yourself from being a mistress, dealing with a toxic individual who's attached in some way, whether it's marriage, having children, or living with somebody. But this is you deciding, making that choice to protect yourself first and doing what is best for you. The justice card and bringing balance back to your situation, getting stable, getting balanced, not necessarily needing the closure, but you knowing the truth about your situation and what's going on here. We see the emperor in the reverse, we're in Aries season. This is Aries energy. But again, ego getting the best of them, wanting to be very controlling here. But you need to be in control of what's going on with you. Them trying to maybe even control the narrative here with this, with these swords, the justice card, trying to control the truth or what people know about you. And that's why you're having to cut this person off because there's a lot of confusion with this two of swords. One day they're saying one thing. The next day they're saying something else. You can't get a straight answer from this person or just, again, the truth in general. And that's why you've been ignoring your intuition for a period of time. But this is why you're using your intuition now to guide you and let you know that it, this is over. Due to a lack of cooperation, due to sitting here straddling the fence, maybe wanting to come back. This also speaking to player energy, entertaining others. 
taking the gossip from here to there and acting, playing the middleman here, doing too damn much. And the Queen of Swords, you setting boundaries from this person that's straddling the fence, not cooperating with you and your wishes and your boundaries. The Queen of Swords, which is Gemini, Aquarius energy, speaks to somebody who is all about boundaries, demanding the truth, cutting people off, cutting people out, giving an ultimatum here. But this is you just completely exiting stage left, doing what is best for you, taking all the emotions out of a situation, thinking about it and making the most logical decision. And when you do that, another five here with the five of pentacles, because we already have the five of cups in the hair font, five, five, five is change. This person is going to act like you betrayed them. Like you pulled the rug out from underneath them, like you left them out in the cold, but really it was you doing what is best for you. They were leaving you out in the cold. They were spreading your business. They were cheating on you, lying to you, stealing from you, maybe taking your money with this pentacle energy here and not returning it. Mm, the worst. And that's why you've had to let this person go. Gemini, drop this person sign down below. Don't forget to drop your sun, moon, and rising. Check out your sun, moon, and risings for a deeper look into your situation. You can find me on Instagram or via my email. All the information is in the description box for a personal reading. And I'll be checking in on you soon, Geminis. Keep it real.